The field is the outer portion of your tool's motor. It has a machine steel case and a series of magnets adhere to the ring. The field surrounds the armature and creates an electromagnetic field, which causes the motor to spin. Most problems with the field are the result of accidental damage. If the tool takes a long fall, the magnets can crack or shift. Replacing the field is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing one half of the housing. I'll cut the label at the rear of the housing, and then I can separate the two halves. Now remove the two screws that secure the front housing to the plastic housing. With the screws removed, I can lift the motor and gearbox assembly away from the lower housing. Now I'll pull the brush springs away from the brushes. And with the tension off of the brushes, now I can separate the motor away from the brush ring. With the motor and gearbox assembly removed, I can separate the armature from the gearbox. Now I'll separate the armature from the field. And now I can replace the field. Now I can reinstall the armature into the field. You'll notice that there's two notches on the field. Those notches should face away from the armature or toward the drive gear. Be careful not to pinch my fingers as I install the two halves. Now I can reinstall the motor assembly to the gearbox. Now I can reinstall the motor and gearbox assembly back into the housing. I'll slide the commutator through the brush card and then place the brush springs back over the brushes. Now I'll align each of the components with the housing. The notches on the field need to align with tabs on the housings. You should have one notch pointing straight up. Also, I'll be sure to align the brush card. And then I'll tuck the brush card wires the rest of the way into the housing. And now I'll reinstall the housing. Now reinstall the screws that secure the gearbox to the motor housing. And that's how easy it is to install the field in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.